Morning guys, happy hump day, happy Wednesday, and most importantly, happy Jillian Michaels workout day. Uh, it's a little after six right now. I've actually been up since 5.15, I think because of nerves, or I was thinking it may be because I usually go to bed between like nine and 10, and then I'm up at 3 a.m. for an hour or so. Last night I went to bed a little after 11, and I, I was up around five, so maybe it's just like my body's like, okay, enough sleep. I also woke up starving. So I'm eating a banana before I have my coffee, um, so it doesn't hurt my stomach too much. Here's a fun, fun fact. This guy is still up. He hasn't gone to bed yet. No, I have not. Why are you still up? Because I have to work today. Yeah. Wait. Eddie got called by his boss last night and they want him to do overnights the next two nights, so 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. These guys just got up too. Hmm. They want my banana. This one's probably gonna want to be taken out by his dad since he's up. <laughs> I did the last night one. <laughs> so he's making some jams, some sweet beets. Um, yeah, so it's coffee time. Coffee Monday, just getting coffee Wednesday. As I'm sitting here doing, uh, doing, watching It's Judy's Life, I am putting my banana that I had in my planner so I could track it. And I am vowing to make much better decisions today. And I know we talked about this last night, but I just, I really think that the visual helped for me to realize why I made the decisions I made yesterday versus, you know, the day before with what I was eating. And it, it really, I really do think that having those chocolate Cheerios to set the tone, it just made my whole day go downhill really fast. So I am trying to find my pens. I have a feeling one of my two sleeping men is on top of him. So don't disturb the beast, but my anxiety levels are so high. <laughs> like the more and more I'm like thinking about today, the more nervous I am. Um, like I was just thinking about what the heck I'm gonna wear. Um, cause it says fitness attire, obviously, cause we're working out. But I, you know, I wanna look good cause pictures or I don't know. I, I don't know what to expect, which is probably a really good thing because I need to be pushed out of my comfort zone in that sense more often, but I avoid it at all costs. Side note, Eddie hung the mirror in here which perfectly reflects the mess behind me of my clothing. Isn't that beautiful? But I like it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am going to kickboxing this morning. She usually does about 35, 40 minutes of cardio and then ends with weights and abs. I'm just gonna leave for the weights and abs part because I have to go pick up a package at, uh, out of my PO box apparently. And I have to pick up bags. We get free garbage bags through our town. I know, very nice. Um, well, because I live in a village. I think I'm, as silly as it is, I am going to do my hair. Like, I'm going to straighten it because I don't know how intense a workout's going to be. And I'd rather look good, at least when I get there. <laughs> I don't know. Can you tell how nervous I am? Because this is just like, this is probably the biggest opportunity I've had. Besides working out with Nike at um, Jets Giant Stadium and going in the Giants locker rooms, this is the biggest opportunity blogging has gotten me um, to date. And... I'm so nervous. <laughs> I can't even tell you guys. I don't know what to wear, which is my biggest dilemma at the moment. I've narrowed it down to black. <laughs> so obviously I have this black Lululemon tank top, which is a good, it's a nice slimming, um, but it's like um, moisture wicking texture. I also have a Delta Labs tank top, so I might see how that looks on with the pants. Um, and I am going to wear my long sleeve black just keep sweating sh um, shirt on top and then just take it off. Because I got to represent myself somehow and maybe she'll recognize my tweets. I don't know. I just think all black is best. And it's cooler out today. So I'm probably going to wear, oh, maybe I'll wear my hoodie buddy sweatshirt. That way I don't have to worry about carrying headphones. I like, I love thinking things through with you guys because it just helps my brain work. All right, I did a quick little 30 minute cardio only uh, kickboxing workout. I really went um, to the class mostly because Eddie is made a CD for the teacher. I burned 350 calories by the way. Um, and I didn't wanna, I wanted to give her the CD and I wanted to just get some of my anxiety out, but I didn't wanna do the entire class and be exhausted because 
you know, I don't know what to expect later. And even if I don't get a good burn later, then I still got something in, you know? Better is something than nothing. So I just picked up the town garbage bags and now I'm heading to the P.O. box. I'm really excited because the lady, when she called me yesterday, made it sound like it was a huge package. I have no idea what it could be. P.O. box trip took way longer than I expected because I got there. She told me when she called me yesterday that she's there early and that I could come anytime after seven and even though the window's closed, she would whatever, give me my package. Well, I stood there for 20 minutes because I got there at 8.40. She's yapping away on her cell phone. These two other women are in the waiting room complaining for 20 minutes straight that they had to stand there and wait. I was like, it opens at nine. So technically she didn't have to open early, but uh, finally, you know, it opened and I don't remember a company asking me if I was interested in reviewing this, but whatever. Hot and cold therapy, therapeutic massager. It has two speeds, four custom attachments. It's by Wall, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, heats to help increase circulation and cools to reduce swelling and inflammation. This will definitely be used tonight. Um, and I think it will be perfect for like behind my knees. I'm really excited about that. So I'll let you go. I, I will, I will, I will let you guys know what I think of it. Obviously I'm really excited though. I decided to pop into CVS really quick and just pick up two of, um, Becky's like favorite junk food snacks, which is this Haagen-Dazs pineapple coconut ice cream and Kit Kat minis because today's the last day that she's locking herself in the house to study for the boards tomorrow and I figured I'd just drop it off on my way home just as a nice little you can do it and you know stress reliever so I think she'll be pleasantly surprised with that. I am in like such a pressed for time state right now because I dropped off the stuff to Becky's and I ended up chatting with her for a while because I haven't seen her since the night that I got sick and um you know we were just like catching up really quick and I just came home and showered and I, it's 9.45, I have to leave in an hour and five minutes exactly. So I'm blow drying my hair as I'm making bacon and I'm getting ready. I think I'm actually gonna be able to pull it off um, cause I really just wanted to have my hair down and then that way if I pull it up, it'll still look nice. But I, you know, I don't know, I'm just, I don't know, I'm freaking out, I'm so excited. Two over easy eggs on a slice of Ezekiel toast. Yeah, there's bacon grease cause I didn't have time to blot it and three burnt pieces of bacon. Loading up on a big breakfast because I don't know the next time I'm going to be able to eat, but I'm bringing some healthy snacks. I have a quarter cup of raw mixed nuts, and I'm going to bring some rice cakes also. Just because with the trains, you have never know what's going to happen, so I'd rather be prepared than starving. <laughs> Hair done. Yes, I have makeup on. I'm breaking my rule, but it's not heavy makeup. Just cover up because my skin is breaking out a little bit right now because I started religiously taking my hair, skin, and nails again. I got When I was sick, I wasn't really taking it, and whatever, but now that I'm taking it, and like since I started taking it, my hair has grown so much. It's so much stronger and so much shinier. I'm telling you guys, the Delta Labs hair, skin, and nail formula is ridiculously strong. Like it is, like it's packed with so many other things other than biotin that's good for you, but I cannot, like I wish that I had started taking it when I first started working there because my hair on my wedding day would have been so much nicer. I mean, not that it wasn't nice, but like the quality of my hair, if that makes any sense, would have been so much better. Um, which by the way, I have a coupon code for Delta Labs. If you guys want, um, you can order anything and get $5 off with the coupon code, just keep sweating um, anytime, just not bundles, but like any of the products, if you ever wanted to try them, $5 off, so that's my gift to you. Um, I have my outfit on, I just keep sweating shirt. Um, I have 20 minutes till I have to go and I'm like really nervous. I know I keep saying that, but it's like, I don't know, I don't, I just, bleh, I don't know what to expect. Um, I'm gonna take the boys out one more time and use that as like a feeler for if I should wear my hoodie buddy or just bring earbuds and like just wear this as my jacket. This boy, look at this boy. I don't know what this is. Oh, I caught you in the act. I did, I caught you in the act. You're cute though. Here we go. Get to the city. It's not as cold as I thought it was gonna be, but it's a little cold. And it's just a two block walk from Penn Station. So I'm heading there now and I have like an hour to kill. Um, so I might have to buy a cube for my charger because I brought the cord and my portable charger, but the portable charger's dead. So that doesn't really work out for me too much. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film in there. I'd love to, but 
I have a very sneaky suspicion that I'm not going to be able to. First of all, for decades, Curves has been helping women transform their physiques in an environment that's safe where they feel comfortable. There's so much about the brand that's fantastic. They're affordable, they're accessible, it's 30 minutes, you can find the time, you can go in at any point during business hours and jump into the circuit, which is part of the reason that we've had to put in an order to the moves because apparently there is no order to the moves. You come in, you start, you go through it all two times, it's a half an hour, your butt is kicked, your calories are burned, and you go about your day. Uh, I would normally be your trainer. And so what would be happening is you would have that television at your curves, and I would walk you through every single move, every single modification, and you would be able to see the form. So you may not be able to see it that great right here, and, and uh, hopefully, there we go. Yeah, so you'll see the modifications, You'll see the move, and I would be talking you through it, but I'll be doing that in person today. And as you know, we're going to be calling out change stations because there's no audio uh, on the TV. <laughs> so, with no further ado, are we ready to begin? Woo! Yeah. All right. And the whole idea is about being holistic. We want to train every muscle in the body, and we want to train every fitness modality possible. And I'm hoping you saw that, and with that said, if anybody has any questions, we'll take, we'll take one or two questions. That's not a cute thing. Yeah, but like, <laughs> what's the matter with you? So we're not going to make our fight. We stay longer. Stay longer. I normally would. Like, the minute I had kids, I was like, oh, I got to go. And it's not the kids either. They don't care. It's Heidi's like, you got to get home. I can't do this. And I'm sorry. Who uh, has a question? If you're eating right and you're doing this four times a week, you're going to see results. You know, if you're like, oh, I took a class on Tuesday, and then I eat pizza, and nothing's going to change. And if we're making that promise, and I have to tell you realistically, I would like four times a week. It's a half an hour. It's not that much to ask. We're in conjunction with sensible eating, and we're going to be able to deliver on what we promised you, which is the fantastic results. By the second time, if you haven't figured this out, there's no hope for you. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's actually quite the spread. There's pop chips and stuff, and drinks, coffee. I wish I had to-go cups. I'd have coffee to go. You were doing that like no carb thing. Yeah. Oh and my. I saw. I read. You read. A, I read whatever you wrote. Yeah, about the it. post I did. You guys. I think I'm gonna have a smile plastered on my face for the rest of the year. <laughs> what a day. I mean, oh, sorry, I hate chewing gum and vlogging. I was watching yesterday's footage and I was like, ugh, car, come on. <sighs> I just, I can't believe that I met Jillian Michaels. I worked out with Jillian Michaels and I was one of the only two people to get a picture with her. The her PR team, so rushed and rude. Jillian, so sweet, so funny, and just like she is on TV, not even kidding, like, oh, I love her so much. She complimented me on my high knees, my double unders. She said she liked my hustle. Like, she was, she, she yelled at me for air squats. She's like, you can go faster, go faster. I'm so, like, happy that I had this experience, and I'm, I just feel really blessed, like, that I was given this opportunity um, because I was talking to my friend who was also there uh, that I've met through blogging. And she said, she's like, is Jillian like the person on your list that you'd want to meet? I said, yeah, like I've been saying it for a long time. Like if I could meet any celebrity and work out with them, well, if I could meet any celebrity, I would love to meet Jillian. Like I love, I've been listening to her podcasts for years and oh, I'm just like, I'm on such a high right now. I am, I have to shower because I was dripping. Like, I wasn't expecting to sweat in that class, but I, I think because my adrenaline was running and I was so excited and I pushed myself so hard because it's, it's whatever you put into it. Um, oh my God. I like, I don't even know, how, I can't even process my life right now. Dinner is going to be some epicness because I've been sitting here thinking about it. I'm starving, but I'm also exhausted. 
um, from my double workout and my long day. Like, I don't know, it's all very surreal still. But Mr. Ed is up. Naked. Yeah, I have, I'm not, I don't shoot below the waist. Good. Whoa. That's breakfast and lunch. What's lunch? Lunch is turkey, bacon, and cheese sandwich. That's not turkey bacon that you just cooked. Turkey, bacon, oh. and cheese. Oh, 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 yes. okay. Um, well, I'm having, oh, by the way, my, my, my best friend Allison sent me my Christmas gift, so I got, oh, kale, yeah, a big tote bag, which is so me, gingerbread kiss chapstick, and this, Deborah Lippman, who is a phenomenal, uh, she's a manicurist to the stars, but she also has her own nail polish line. Her nail polish is very expensive. I only own two or three of them because of that. They're $18 a bottle. She bought me the girls limited edition pack. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be doing, this is Hannah's. Um, this is Shoshana's, no Marnie's. This is Shoshana and this is Jessa. If you guys watch the show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't, you think I'm weird. But Hannah is like, Hannah's is this um really pretty like gray green. And I'm gonna do my nails on that, that color tonight because my polish came off today. So it came at the perfect time. But for dinner, I'm having a grilled chicken quesadilla because I haven't had a quesadilla in a long time. Uh, did you take my wraps out? Oh yeah, they're over there. I have brown rice tortillas that I bought a few weeks ago. Um, the chicken's already made. I have an avocado I need to use, cheddar cheese. What do we have in here? I have black beans, but I, I'm getting protein from the chicken, so we don't really need to add that in. I have corn. I love corn. I'm gonna throw some corn in there. And that's gonna be it. Mashed avocado, just half at the bottom of my tortilla, then some corn, a piece of the chicken breast that I baked up last night. Now I'm gonna add cheese, and I'm going to fold it over and put it inside my beloved panini press. Quesadilla perfection. And a lemon lined seltzer in a mason jar with five ice cubes, just the way I like it. As I'm importing the footage from today's um, workout, hold on, I'm trying to work on the, I have a lamp here now, and I'm, obviously, there we go. Um, I, cause I had to vlog, the parts with Jillian Michael is actually on my phone, cause I was trying to be sneaky, um, but I don't know if I really needed to be, I just didn't feel like whipping out a hot pink camera, which was really noticeable. So I'm importing that footage right now, and as I'm doing that, I am trying out the massager that they sent, that was sent to me. This thing is seriously awesome, you guys. It has four different attachments, like I told you, that you could put on it, and it can be, it can be, like, with the massager on, you can have it hot or cold, or you can have just the massager or just the heat and cooling. I'm, like, using it on my knees right now because they're, you know, a little sore from all my workouts and whatever. I haven't done yoga this week. I'm really liking this so far, and I'm about to do my nails, like I said. And yeah, take it easy, but I'm gonna edit tonight, the vlog, like soon, because I wanna make sure it's ready for you guys tomorrow morning, because so many of you are excited to see it. Well, you're seeing it now, but you know what I'm saying. I hate how I'm in the, I'm in the now and you're in the future. I am an extremely productive human being. I managed to get my recap up of what happened today on my blog. I'm sorry. I just wrote the entire post as I was importing footage. So it's called a dream come true. If you guys want to read it, uh, it's linked down below. And I just edited all the footage that I had so far of today's vlog. I painted one half of my nails. I always paint one hand than the other. I don't know. That's just how I do it. And this vlog is all, is like over 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. We'll go over my meals tomorrow because this vlog is way too long. I've done too much talking. And yeah, I'm exhausted. So I hope you guys had a great day and you liked following along my Julian Michaels journey with me. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. And make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up so we can do more things like this in the future. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.